Hello students, today you're going to start learning about a new system, the cardiovascular system. Sometimes it's also called the circulatory system. Go ahead and set up your notebook and then pause the video whenever it's going too fast or rewind it if you miss something. Alright, let's begin. For number one, write the cardiovascular system. Write circulatory in parentheses because again, like I said on a test, you might see the word circulatory and forget that it's the same as the cardiovascular. The cardiovascular system is an organ system made of different organs that's in charge of transporting blood and other material throughout your body. Just like always, I'll come up with the first question and then you make up the other questions yourself. Feel free to use this question if you want. You can say, what is the cardiovascular system? Or what is the job of the cardiovascular system? Either one would be fine. Okay, let's move on to number two. The major parts of the cardiovascular system are the heart, the veins, the arteries, and the capillaries. And we'll talk about uh, all these parts, all these organs, uh, in a different video. But for now, just know that this is, these are the major parts of this system. Let's look at a picture. So here in this picture right here, you can see, in this, or diagram, there's the heart, the veins, and the arteries are the ones that transport blood to or from the heart. Um, and the capillaries are even much smaller. And we'll talk about all these pieces in detail again. But for now, just know that the arteries, veins, hearts, these are, um, or heart is the main um, parts of the cardiovascular system. Go ahead and come up with a question for two, and then let's move on to three. Okay, moving on to three. The cardiovascular system supplies oxygen. Um, that's what you breathe in, and nutrients to cells. Remember nutrients such as glucose, that is important to um, break down in your cells for energy. And also, after glucose is bro broken down, you have waste like carbon dioxide. Uh, that your, your body needs to get rid of that waste, and it does through the cardiovascular system. So let's look at a picture to see how this works. All right, these red bubbles here are red blood cells, and the red blood cells take the carbon dioxide. So see these little here? things here these are cells with a nucleus right here they get rid of the carbon dioxide it jumps into your blood and then through a chemical process and then it gets taken out to your lungs and then you breathe it out oxygen also comes in through that process carbon dioxide attaches and then goes out to your lungs so this um, transport of oxygen and carbon dioxide happens because of the cardiovascular system pumping your blood to every single one of your living cells if they don't have blood they die Okay, go ahead and come up with your question for three, and then we'll move on to the last idea for today. Are you ready? Let's move on to four. So think of the cardiovascular system like a road or a freeway, and blood cells are like the cars that travel throughout the system and get to every single one of your cells. Go ahead and write that and then move on uh, to the question. Um, I'll show you a picture meanwhile. Let's see a picture. We'll talk more in detail about what travels through your veins and arteries, but for now, just see that these little red discs, that's the blood traveling. But there's also other things that travel throughout your, your body. And think of it like kind of like a system, like I said, of roads and freeways, just like there's cars and there's trucks and all kinds of vehicles traveling from one place to another. Same thing as your cardiovascular system helps um, cars move around, blood and other, um, other special cell types of cells and tissue travel too. And we'll talk about it in detail, like I said, about those. Okay, let me put it back on the uh, last one. All right, go ahead and come up with that last question, and don't forget your summary and advanced question. That is the end of this video. Have a great day.